Hi, Derek here. I'm going to show you how to make more money and save more time using ChatGPT for your contracting business. So I'm sure you've heard of ChatGPT by now and probably know people or maybe have used it yourself and are wondering, how do I utilize this? What's you know the opportunity here? How can I get ahead of the curve with my contracting business? So I'm gonna be showing you a couple of examples of three different ways in which you can use ChatGPT to enhance your business, save you time, help you make some more money. So that's what it's all about. If you enjoy the video, if it's helped you with the content, if you wanna grow your contracting business, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. So, all right, ChatGPT, big news lots of people using it so how can we utilize it we're gonna be talking about three things marketing copy templates and processes proofreading and copywriting so some examples of marketing copy could be for emails so you could you could write something like create a fun marketing email of less than 150 words about what to ask a construction contractor so things to be thinking about when um, you know inputting queries into chat GPT is add certain descriptive words so you could do like fun marketing email you want to make sure like you're saying it's it's a marketing email or it's an employee email. So be as descriptive as you can. The more description you give, the better results that you're going to get. And, you know, specify how many words you want, how many bullet points you want. You know, get super descriptive if you've gone overboard and you're getting weird, you know, <laughs> outputs, then, you know, you can back up a little bit. But often if you put something in and you don't get what you want, just go back and change things up. So pretty quick, you know, easy email here, find your deemed structure project. So you can always go back and change things up add some you know instead of fun you could do funny different things like that you could do 250 words whatever you want right so you get the idea so that's for email marketing you could also be writing stuff for your social media so write a social media post about the importance of yearly house maintenance so it could be something like that it could be you know anything you want really and it'll write something for you and generally you probably aren't going to hit gold the first time right often something will come out and it's not really you know jiving with your business you do want as like a consistent voice with your business and you want to be catering to your ideal client so just like putting in a curry copy and pasting and throwing on social media it might be effective to some degree but you're going to get a lot of different like it's not going to be consistent right so you still need to go through read it yourself and and edit it right make sure that things are like make sense that it's actually like yourself and one thing that i've done that has helped a lot is actually writing something out personally so i'll like write out an email let's say i'm, I'm sending out an email to my email list I'll write it out personally. You know, I can just go through it pretty quick, but at least it's got like my input, my intention, the points that I want to say in there. I'll take that email, I'll put it in chat GPT and say, can you make this more readable? Can you make this more fun? Can you condense this, you know, or expand this? So you're giving it a really solid input of like something that you've created and it just kind of cleans it up and maybe adds some suggestions and things like that. So marketing is definitely a big time saver with chat GPT because it's like a copywriter. It can just it can you know make and write whatever you want another place to use it in your business is templates and processes so uh, another thing that you can put in is like my company values while well, i put that in so uh, my company values are you know client focus resourceful learner mindset you could put you know honest trustworthy improvement what have you please provide two questions for each value that i can use when interviewing potential hires for values fit with my organization so you could create interview questions right and you're not going to hit gold like one everyone like i said you know some of these might not make sense or it might just be weird and, and whatever but it should be able to give you a bunch of different answers or questions that you can then use and again you'll edit this you'll refine it it takes you know two seconds three seconds for it to populate so things like um you know interview questions another great one is like you can ask it to create a whole employee handbook um it's not going to be great <laughs> i've tried it uh run through it a few times but yeah you could try to you know create lots of different documents inside your organization and it'll maybe give you the outline it'll give you some some basics or it'll give you a bit of information as far as like things that you might think about possibly using but it'll it'll create the whole thing for you essentially and uh, you can go through edit it maybe none of it's really that good so you build your own or whatever from what it's it's made or maybe you already have one and you put it in there and ask it to uh, clean it up for you so templates and processes you can build that in chat GPT proofreading and copywriting so got an example here just like something small but you could just tell it make the following easier to read and more 
with more emotion. So you can okay, make it more fun, make it more serious, make it whatever, right? So if you've got something, like I said earlier, you've already got an email, maybe you're creating some copy for your website or something. So I just wrote a very generic, like boring kind of sentence about construction. And I said, make the following easier to read with more emotion. And essentially it'll provide much better suggestions, more professional, you know, copywriting. If you're like myself, you know, humanities or, or English studies or writing in, in school was not, you know, my forte and, and not something I, I necessarily enjoyed. So this is a great tool to, to write like a professional. You still get your creativity, your input, your ideas across, but it just uh, makes it more readable and gives you more suggestions and ideas. So if you want help with this, if you want to build a business that runs without you, I've got a link in the description below to sign up for a free course on how to build a business that works without you. Great resource. Get signed up now. Check out the other videos. Here's to the best with your business.